see the village of Highbury, sir. Over the bridge, left of the crown, you see the steeple. Thank you. Very much obliged. Weston. It's my son, Mr. Frank Churchill. Miss Emma Woodhouse. That's Woodhouse. He, uh, he's caught us quite by surprise. Indeed he has. There are not many houses in which I would presume on so far, sir, but... In coming home, I felt I might take the liberty. <laughs> we, uh, we had a plan to walk to the village, Ella. Will you join us? I would be delighted. Splendid. Right. I believe we have a mutual acquaintance in Jane Fairfax. Did you meet often at Weymouth? Pray, let's go in here. That I may prove myself to be a true citizen of Highbury, I must buy something at Forbes. And I beg your pardon, Miss Woodhouse. You were speaking to me. I merely asked whether you had known much of Miss Fairfax and her party at Weymouth. And now that I understand the question, I must pronounce it to be a very unfair one. It is always the lady's right to decide on the degree of acquaintance. You answer as discreetly as she would herself, though her account leaves so much to be guessed. I really think you may say what you like of your acquaintance with her. I only know what is generally known, that she is poor and of no consequence. Here's where you have your balls, I suppose. Every fortnight through the winter. I'm afraid Highbury may yet disappoint you, Mr. Churchill. We have not society enough for dancing. Ah, but an inn of this size must have a ballroom. And where there is a ballroom, there can be a ball. We cannot do without dancing. Instances have been known of young people passing many, many months successfully without any ball of any description and no injury either to body or to mind, but when, and the felicities of rapid motion have been felt, must be a very heavy heart that does not ask for more. It is very dirty inside. Oh, my dear, my dear, you are too particular. By candlelight, it'll be as clean as Randall's. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a ball. Yes, and <laughs> when we do, may I? Hope for the honour of your hand for the first two dances. <laughs> the Coles are to hold a supper party in Frank's honour, and perhaps they'll be dancing there. <laughs> <laughs> 